Hello, this is Parker with Macrofab, and today we're going to be talking about Eagle and part attributes. Um, so at Macrofab, when you upload a .brd file, which is your board file for Eagle, into Macrofab, we automatically generate Gerber files, and we automatically generate your bill of materials. Uh, so on the bill of materials, we pull the designator, we pull the value field, and we pull um, your footprint information. And so if you go into properties on your part, you can see the name, which is the designator, will be pulled, the value, and what package it is, which in this case it's C0402. Now the problem is, with that information alone, you can't select a part, because there's thousands of one microfarad 0402 capacitors. And more importantly is the voltage rating and dielectric constants that you need for that capacitor will change by capacitor and by use case. And so what we've done at Macrofab is when you load up a .brd file is we look at some part attributes to see if you have the, if you have them in your, your Eagle file. Um, so the set of part attribute, you can either do this in the schematic or you can do it in the board um, editor. It doesn't really matter in, the, uh, in Eagle, but you would right click on it and click attribute. Now these parts have already been the MPNs have already been set, but you would do is click new and then we look for the tag NPN, which is manufactured part number. You would type in your value for your MPN right here and click OK. Um, so in this case, it would look like this. Um, so this one microfarad part is a MF cap 0421 microfarad. Uh, like this is a this 10K is a 10K house part as well. Like this is a this is a EFM8 microcontroller, and so it's got its manufacturer part number right there, which is this big long string. Um, the, also, the other flag that we look at at Macrofab is a populate flag. Now, if you don't have the populate flag in your BRD file or in your parts, we um, just assume it's populated. But in this case, on this board, these. Um, these loading caps for this crystal are not not populated because the EFM8 microcontroller um, has built in loading caps that you can set. And I didn't know that at the time when I designed this. And so I went back and added this populate flag and set it to zero. So zero is no pop and one is populate. Now, one important distinction is if you only have a couple parts that have the NPN flag, that's fine. Um, it just won't look for the MPN on the other ones if you don't have it. It won't, you know, cause a problem with your uh, upload. So like these LEDs, we're using house parts for these. So MF LED 0603 red. So basically when you upload this file to um, Macrofab, it will automatically fill out the bill materials and select the correct parts. So next time guys, see you later.